What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release day, guys. 2023 Topps uh, Series 2 baseball just released today. This is the Jumbo Edition, which is a six-box case break. Pick teams number one. Remember, all cards ship. And this is a Wax Party promo break. So at the end, we'll randomize the customer names that bought in. And uh, top name gets a spot uh, in the Wax Party giveaway. And now, here we go, guys. Sold this out straight up, so I appreciate everybody. Last ball mojo's Mark with the Brewers. Everybody else is in there too, guys. Thank you. Now we got 2022 record breakers. Adley Rutschman, little box topper. All right, we'll do the two silver pack. We'll do all the silver packs at the end, guys. And uh, we'll just rip pack by pack here. So again, I do have a top load list. Let me pull that up really quick. There's only so many players that will be sleeving and top loading everything. Everything else, obviously, we'll just get a sleeve if it's a numbered card, etc. Um, yeah, it looks like we're top loading, still sleeving up is Jordan Walker, uh, Yoshida, Volpe, Francisco Alvarez, James Altman, and Corbin Carroll. So if we look out for some of those. Now, if I miss some of those, don't worry. Obviously, the... Uh, Sorting team knows that as well. Get a little glance at this right here. So obviously a lot of the cards are always going to be backwards, upside down. Then we got a Chris Bassett, the foil. And these are awesome, actually. I definitely would love to pull one of these here for uh, if there's autographs of these for the, like the World Baseball Classic. So that's Francisco Lindor. Obviously those will go to the teams that they're currently on. And for the most part, I believe that any short prints or anything like that will be flipped backwards, so definitely helps out that when it comes to sorting, sorting out the, the short prints and stuff like that. Kiel Badu. Whoa. How about that already? Wow. Black Parallel. 1988 Topps Baseball Autograph Black Parallel card of Francisco Alvarez. Nice. And usually the Black Parallel Black parallel is numbered to 50 or less. Let's see. Did I look at that right? No, black actually, sorry. Black is numbered to 199 or less. Then there's gold to 50 or less, red to 25 or less, and then platinum 101. And of course, that's going to the Mets. Who has the Mets? Scott E. Look at that, man. Already hidden. That's a nice autograph to start off the break. Wish that was live. Let's see Corbin Carroll's right there.
out of 2023, Victor Robles. Out of 10, Aroldius Chapman. Significant stats, statistics. That's one there for the Yankees. We got Legend of the Game, Ernie Banks. Proctor, Yoshida, Japan, Julio, little all star. Nolan Arenado, and then we have the 2023 Dalton Guthrie for the Phillies. That's Yoshida. There's Volpe. There's Jordan Walker. Christopher Morale, Relic. Joy Bart, and a commemorative patch card to 75. Stan Musial. St. Louis Cardinals. All aces. Alright, last pack here.
All right, so there's your first box there, guys. Kind of took my time there. But uh, some pretty nice stuff there, of course. Let's continue on. So this one I'm probably going to pack stack and we'll go a little quicker, but not too quick, of course. Don't want to miss anything. But yeah, this is Series 2. Then we have Record Breakers, box stopper there of uh, Ken Griffey Jr. So again, the two silver packs here we'll do at the end, all together. Yeah, guys, we have more in the store. And again, there's another case break of that up there. That we can do. Pikachu number two is already in single digits the last time I checked. So, you know, definitely can get more of that going. Double header starting to get a little closer too now. Probably, James. I'd assume so. Uh, we do have plenty. But maybe we're probably going to do what we have first on the website and then upload more. But, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And obviously, frequently be checking because... I don't know, Nick's the one that kind of takes charge of that, so whenever whenever he feels like he wants to put up more, then we will. Or once we finish what we have, then we're told to put more on. Yeah, we have plenty though, man, so I'm sure we're going to put back a lot. Oh. All right, let's continue on then, guys. Here we go. Conforto, and then we have a Solar Green to four ninety nine for the Marlins. Mike Messina. We have a Johnny Bench. Madrigal, and then out of 2023, Fort Proctor, for the Giants. All right, no short prints yet, out of the first couple boxes. Xander Bogarts, and actually, is that a short print? Starting in 04, let's see. No, it looks like it's just a base. Just slip backwards, maybe? I don't know. We'll sleeve that up just to be safe. Or are these just all backwards by accident? Maybe these are all just backwards by accident. They're all ending in 04, so I don't think they are. Usually it's flip backwards and it'll specify short print or something like that variation like they did last year. Cody Thomas, rookie autograph for the Oakland Athletics. Uh, it's not numbered, but Oakland Athletics is going to Eric.
And you have a Verlander, Triple Crown Leader Commemorative logo. Not numbered. And then we got a all-star relic of Jose Altuve for the Houston Astros going to Chris Parent. So there's the three hits there. Leon Carlo, and then the 2023, that's Jesus Lazardo. right there. There's Jordan Walker. Oh, there you go. All right, next box, guys. Record breakers there. That's a Julio box topper. <laughs> All right, guys.
And you got a Manny Machado All Stars. Number to 299. Um, they're just foil cards. I mean, to be honest, they're they're nothing super special unless they're bigger rookies. Um, so uh, unfortunately, don't really top load a lot of those. Unless, like I said, they're bigger rookies, per se. Series 2, unfortunately, has a lot of printed cards, so... Um, a lot of these aren't really worth too much. So we really just stop for the numbered cards, the potential short prints, the relics, the autographs. And every once in a while, if you do get like a foil of a bigger rookie, for sure, definitely sleeve that up to top load. But nothing super wild, unfortunately. Although they're nice stuff, though. Out of 2023, Gene Segura. And then we have one here numbered to 499. Yeah, yeah. Bailey Falter to 499. But, you know, this, this is just a staple. It's been around, right? It's like the flagship has been around for so long, so. It still sells relatively well in the sense, you know. Get a ton of cards. For the price, and you still get three hits a box, which is nice. I mean, there's there's cut autographs in there. You know, there's cut autographs in this. The fact that there's cut autographs in this is awesome. You got a little Ronnie uh, Henriquez, which we'll sleeve that up, just because it's a rookie. And whoa, look how thick this medallion is. Oh, it's actually no, it's a patch autograph. How about Pete Alonso? Three out of ten. I was thinking that was a medallion for a second. And that's an on-card Pete Alonzo, too. Three out of ten. Not a sticker. That looks on-card. Very natural there for the Mets. Now, of course, a little bit chippy there. But what a break for you, Scott. Man. Hey. Have yourself a break. That's pretty darn sweet. I, I thought that was a medallion, to be honest. So the Tops Reverence autograph patch card. Sick, man. Like I said, Series 2 has a lot of base cards, guys, but in between those base cards, there can be some pretty nice hits, especially for the box price. Tapia, and then you got an Aaron Judge here, and I believe this is one of those color pr short prints, so color variations, maybe short prints, so I just leave that up for you guys. Yankees, Matt Smith. So like I said, if I miss any of those rookies that I announced earlier that were sleeving up top loading, don't worry. The sorting team knows that already, so they'll make sure to pull those when they're sorting it out. And we got Francisco Lindor. Those World Baseball Classic cards, guys, could be autographed. Like one in every 18,000 hobby packs. So I don't know how many jumbo packs, but if we do pull any one of those uh, autographs, I'd love to collect and purchase like Randy Rosarania and Julio Urias and stuff like that from Mexico. I think I'm going to try to collect some of those. So if anybody sees any or pulls any let me know and then we got a Hank Aaron nice RBI home run leader medallion for the Milwaukee Braves of course that's gonna go to the Atlanta Braves which is Mallory We got Shay Langlier's relic. Right there for the Oakland Ace.
2023, Victor Robles. Got an alley. Pick to win a home run. Pick to win a shot. All right, awesome possum. Let's go on to the next one. Alrighty, here we go guys. Next box. We're like halfway through. Then we got All-Star League Frank Thomas. Like I said, that's like that blue color. Not numbered, but let's leave that up for that. Kirilov, out of 2023, Dalton Varsho, Joey Manessis, uh, get that there,
And we have Michael Garcia, rookie there for the Rose. That was one of the last few teams taken. Christopher, there you go, man, on the board. Here's one of those uh, Cody Morris. This is a uh, one of those advanced stats, I believe, to three ninety nine. And then we have a Ryan Howard. Phillies medallion. Manufactured patch. Phillies, also one of the last few teams taken there, Christopher. We got Nate Eaton. There we go, super short print of Ezekiel Tovar. So there's our short print there, SSP. And that is for the Colorado Rockies and Tristan. There you go, man. And we have a clean Kershaw relic to 199 All-Star relic for the Dodgers. Dodgers, that's going to Dante. Suarez, Sandberg, James Altman. Is there Pedro? What's up, trans? How was uh, how was how was Universal? How was uh, Mario? Super Mario World, or what is it called? Right, Mario World, Super Mario World. Right, two more boxes, guys. Oh, ah, yeah, you went like on a Saturday, right? I mean, yeah, that's a given, dog. <laughs> Luckily for me, having Sunday Mondays off, it's great because I can probably go like on a Monday instead or something like that. But I'm sure it'll still, I mean, you have the front of the line, so I guess it didn't really matter, right? Too much. 
Oh, what happened? Was it messed up, or was that just too, too, uh, too big of a line, maybe? But, yeah, in front of the line, I don't think it's that crazy, right? Or it just ran out of time, maybe? Unless it was broken. How many rides are there in Mario, Super Mario World, like... Kennywood, what is that, Ryan? Oh, you couldn't use the Express on Bowser's, wow. So like, you, you can't even upgrade to like even better to use it? Like, they're just like, sorry bro, just can't use it on that. Three hours, good lord. And that's what you got there early too, huh? Yeah, I feel like it was, it's small, it's not too big, yeah. They, I mean, Universal Studios doesn't have too much room, dude. Like, they were lucky that they were even able to build that. Ah, well, Ryan, I'm, I'm a I'm a SoCal guy, an L.A. guy. Never actually been to Pittsburgh, to be honest. I'm a big Philadelphia Eagles guy, though. I love the Eagles, so been to Philly a couple times. But, uh, it's an OG amusement park. Think of the oldest wooden coaster in the world. Super sketch. Yeah, I don't know if I want to ride those. Alright. Other than that, though. Yeah? What, what, what did you get food at the Mar I feel like uh, Mario... The land actually has pretty decent food. I've been seeing it online. They have like a mushroom soup, don't they? Right? It looks like a mushroom on top. Oh, the Homer donuts, man. Those are... Those are elite. It's like they're just baking them fresh right there for you, too. Castellanos and then an Austin Hayes. That looks like a red. Out of 199. <laughs> I know. I got to do some pirates, man. Yeah, I feel like Saturday was a great day to be out. It was sunny. I went to my cousin's baby shower all the way in Fontana. Right, so a lot warmer out there than it is on the beach side. It was like 80s, mid 80s. So I figured that like downtown LA, Universal area was probably low 80s, maybe high 70s. So it was like perfect, perfect day to be out. Definitely, Saturday was a great day. It's just the last couple of days, man. It's just been so gloomy, like even raining in the mornings, dude. It's like this is not what it should be right now. It should be super hot already, or at least starting to get really hot. But they were talking about like the June gloom to like the middle of June, so I don't know, I guess technically summer doesn't start until like the the twenty second or something like that. So technically I guess it's not ready yet, but still it's a lot different man. The weather's changing here in SoCal. Changing man. Dalton Var show and then we got man, what a break for the Mets. Jose Buto. Say Buto. Yeah, Vegas next weekend. You know what's so funny? I'm actually I'm taking a little family trip and we're going to Laughlin. <laughs> we're gonna get some jet skis and stuff like that in on the Colorado River. That's so funny. My mom was just in Vegas like two weeks ago though. She went for my niece's volleyball tournament the long weekend. Yeah, it's Father's Day weekend, right? Yeah, I'm going to go Saturday, Sunday, Monday, come back Tuesday. Ah. 
Austin Hayes, and then we got Zach Gallon to four ninety nine. Remember, there's still chances of some nice stuff in there too, guys. Remember, we, there's potential autographs, number cards in there, uh, in those silver packs that we haven't got to yet. So, still have half a box here, and then another full box. So, definitely still some time, guys. Hopefully, but obviously, with only three hits, six boxes, only 18 total hits potentially popping out, minus the number card, short prints, medallion, stuff like that. So, a little bit tougher to hit, but a lot cheaper product. Dude, if we had a cut signature, that'd be awesome, dude. Yeah, Honus Wagner cut signature would probably pay for a lot of cases of this stuff. Migi, Triple Crown winner. Remember the relic. Detroit. Detroit. Eric. To 199, how about a little Mike Trout relic for the Angels going to Eric Houston? Daniel Lynch. Alrighty guys, one more box here. Then we have all the silver packs, which is like 12 I believe. Record breaker, top box topper. Yeah, how much how much more is the express compared to the regular ticket? And when you purchase express, do you still get like the buy a day get a year free, or is that different? Because I know your studio still has that promo, right? If you're like a SoCal resident, like you just buy one day, you get like the whole year with the black LDs free, or is that different? I've done express for horror nights. That is definitely worth it for horror nights because if you don't get there early enough, man, some of those mazes are just crazy long. I definitely want to go back to Horror Nights this year. I haven't gone s since pre-COVID, really, but we used to go, like, every single year before that. It was fun, man. We'd go, like, with big crowds, tons of cousins and friends. It'd be awesome.
Ooh, we got a black border. Nice. Are they still out of like 67 or 71? Oh, out of 72 now. There we go. It's a pretty nice one. Oh, Express is just a one day ticket. Gotcha. Yeah, every time I go to Costco, I do see the the tickets there. They're pretty cheap there, actually, when you buy, like, uh, through Costco or something like that, through AAA. Save a little bit. And then I have a 2023... Framber Valdez for Houston. That's not terrible. I mean, that's like... Almost a, that's probably a little bit more expensive than a park hopper at Disneyland, but that doesn't even include no front of the line or anything like that, so it's not actually not that bad. But you can't ride, uh, you can only ride one ride. Oh, well, I, I mean, I guess, I guess that makes sense. Whoa. So we have a Spencer Steer Red, Red's autograph, numbered out of 25. Cincinnati Reds, going to Derek. It's kind of cool. American League champs. Oscar Colas, that's not bad. A little gold. And then a little Pedro, triple crown leaders. Commemorative relic. Red Sox, Jeffrey. Alrighty guys, almost done with this one right here guys. And then a Riley Green for the Tigers relic. Number to 189. Another one for Detroit, Eric. Chance to 2023. All right, and last little stack here. Let's see what else we can get here really quick. Maybe nothing crazy. Nope. Alright, guys, we have the silver packs. Remember, the silver packs contain autographs as well, numbered cards, and obviously just nice cards in general. So let's see what we got there, guys. So that's the last of it right there. And then again, of course, we have a wax party promo spot we're going to give away as well. So good luck, guys. Here we go. So, of course, very nice stuff right here Molitor, 
Gary Cole, Roger Clemens, and out of 99, Wilson Contreras. There's one there for the Cardinals. Going to EA Green. Schwarber, Garrett Mitchell, rookie, Ryan Mountcastle, Cal Shane McCallahan. Toglea, Encarnacion, Will Smith, Derek Jeter. Johnson. Michael Groove, Drew Waters, Dale Murphy, Max Scherzer. Diaz, Brennan, Alec Manoa. Ozzy Albies. Alcantara. Kerry Carpenter. Eloy Jimenez. Spencer Steer. Rosarania. Castillo. Jonathan India. Waldachuk. Bagwell, Tristan McKenzie, Springer, Yoshida, Suzuki. Eddie Murray, Mike Piazza, Xander Bogarts, Francisco Alvarez. And last pack here, guys. Beltre, Jeremy Pena, Logan Webb, Lannon Sosa. Alrighty, guys. So there you go. I can do a quick little recap right now. So again, just the hits here, of course. Everything does ship, so you are gonna get something, guys. But there you go, there's a Relic, Medallion, Relic, Spencer Steer Auto, Buto Auto, Relic of Clean Kershaw. We did get one short print, super short print. Ryan Howard, Michael Garcia, Lang Lears. We did get a Pete Alonso at a 10 patch autograph, which was nice. Manny Machado number, Cody Thomas, Altuve Relic, Sam Mizo, Francisco Alvarez, and Christopher Morrell. So there you go guys. So now let's switch scenes and let's do the Wax Party promo break giveaway. So let's click dice roll. Let's get the list. 30 names there. Alright. Let's click dice roll it. And it is a 5 and a 1. 6 times. Good luck. 1. Two, three, four, five, six. Boom, six times. Six, six. And Mark, last spot mojo. Look at that. Bought the last team in the break, which was the Brew Crew. And look at that. Part of the Wax Party promo break now, guys. So, delete that. It's six, seven. Oops, sorry, not there. Six, seven. Boom. And then this was 2023 Top Series 2 Baseball Case PYT number one. Awesome, guys. Appreciate it so much. Next one uh, is in the store and in single digits as well. Uh, seven left. Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.